So welcome to my updated craft room tour and let's get started. So this is the new room. Just a quick overview. And so we are at the door. I still have a few things to do and finish off, which is basically this corner here, I'm going to use most likely for uh, the nail art and acrylic and stuff like that, um, that I have, and maybe also have a bit of a computer set up there too. Still trying to decide and figure all that one out. Um, camera tripod is here at the minute, which is where I've been doing some vlogs and other bits and pieces. Uh, that shelf I want to put up somewhere, but I haven't quite decided where yet. Um, I may also use this corner here for my sewing machine, um, which is in that box down there, um, the cardboard one. Um, but yes, again, I'm not positive and I may need to go and actually get another little desk to do that. So. Um, this shelf unit is just for stacking things on there when I actually have decided what I'm going to do. Uh, so the window, this is south facing so it gets a lot of sunshine, well, well <laughs> when it actually is sunny. Um, I still have to put the, uh, the curtain pole up and you know curtains and stuff so that's what that is there. Have a few spare boxes for storing uh, whatever might need storing. So, uh, so this is the first IKEA Expedit unit that I have. Um, those boxes on the top are full of my nail art and acrylic uh, nail stuff. Um, that clock on the top is a gift from my step uncle. Uh, so I'll show you a little bit more of those uh, shelves in a second. Uh, the chrome unit uh, box on top is uh, full of fabric scraps and felt and bits and pieces like that, stuff for actually sewing. And then I have my punches on there, my printer, and um, that next down shelf is uh, magazines, craft magazines and jewellery making magazines. And the bottom shelf is empty right now. And then I have this wooden drawer unit which I got from Ikea, which um, in my last tour was empty but isn't now and there's Bud's deciding he wants to get into the movie. Typical. Uh, and then the Ikea uh, Alex draw unit. Um, so I'll show you what's in there too. And then the cuddle bug. And then over here is the bigger Expedit unit, um, which was a little bit of a shenanigans trying to actually get out of the house. Um, the previous house and into this one, um, which I will tell you about in a second. And then my desk, um, which is pretty much kind of set, I guess, how I want it. And so there's Bella and Buddy. Hello, puppies. Uh, we've just been for a walk, so they're kind of mucky and feeling frisky right now. Um, so I've got my chair here, basically, because, I, like I said, I've been sat doing vlogs and stuff, so... That's where that is, but it fits down this space, so I will show you this unit first. So these top two uh, sections are for jewellery making bits and pieces. So I have all my tools and things in this one. Uh, this back unit here is full of like findings and you know bits and pieces. Um, I have memory wire, tiara bases all that kind of stuff in there. And then these boxes are full of different kinds of beads and um, maybe some more findings as well. So uh, these ones here are beads that I recently had like a, a more recent craft show that I got um, from there. So I still have to kind of figure out where I'm gonna put those because these are still kind of full. Um, please let me know, leave me a comment uh, below if you would like me to do a separate video on like all the beads and jewelry stuff that I have. So um, this next one down just has some cleaning products and stuff in it at the moment. And also this box, um, little basket thing is full of uh, deco patch bits, uh, the glue and some paper and things like that. So. 
Uh, next one over is just uh, random sort of office supplies, staples, uh, paper clips, that kind of thing. And then this unit is, um, this has little charms and some glitter in it. And this is really difficult to open with one hand. Oh, actually not too bad. Um, so yeah, so I have different charms and like glitter and things like that. So, uh, so that's that. Uh, this one is, this guy I think is from Mario, um, I don't play it, I got this guy uh, so I could try to make some um, like female clay figures and stuff and I figured because he's kind of, you know, funky looking, <laughs> I would maybe try and make a clay one of these, um, but I haven't even really tried it yet. So but these two baskets behind are full of the female clay and the other clay bits and pieces. So I've got some acrylic paint in there, some cookie cutter shapes, some craft tools and brushes. Uh, what else is that? Uh, Fimo excessive varnish. Uh, and then this one here is where I have all the different kinds of clay. And I actually got a couple of these little packs so you can make, you know, the things up. Um, you know, from, like, you know, with the instructions and everything, so just to kind of get started, because I've never really done it before. Um, well, I have done some, like, pottery classes, but I guess that kind of clay is a little bit different, so. Uh, and then I just have a little paint palette with that acrylic paint, so that is where that is. And the, all that noise you can maybe hear in the back is the dogs wrestling, so. Uh, so this one is stamps, all the different kinds of stamps, and right now I'm not really happy with how this is kind of stored and, you know, it's not really staying how I want it to. So if you have any ideas about this, because I do have a fair few stamps, but, you know, I don't want to have them all kind of packed away so that... I forget what I have. I'd like to kind of have them out in a way. So if you have any ideas, leave me a comment below. Um, this one, these baskets are, these are some pre-stamped images that I have and some are colored, some are not. So that's the same as before. And then that basket is just paper scraps. And I have my score pal. Um, the next one down is uh, this is just full of stickles and glue and glossy accents and Buddy's nose. <laughs> and then this on top is just flowers, paper flowers. And the box underneath is um, more flowers and other just little bits and pieces for attaching to the cards. And then I have four packs of these little crystal -y stick ons and some doilies that I figured I'd just actually get you know, proper doilies and just see how they go because I've not really used these on a card yet. Um, so I just kind of wanted to see how they go with actual proper ones. Uh, and then just some spare glue dots. Um, this one is just, um, you know, the plastic card wrappers and a spare um, oh, paper trimmer and then this um, X-cut border punch thing, um, which I don't really use that often. And then on the back of every card I put these stickers, um, you know, with my contact info and website and stuff, so um, that's just where I'm keeping them. Uh, this one is card blanks and envelopes and then the CC Designs card stock that I got recently. Um, books, photography, HTML, certain card making things, Photoshop, whatever. Uh, this is just full of padded envelopes and packing tape and gift bags. Um, I wanted to bring some music in here, so Bose Player. Uh, this is full of um, needle and thread and stuff like that, all sewing things. And this folder is um, like sewing patterns and uh, knitting patterns and things like that. Not that I can actually knit that well, but <laughs> you try. Uh, this is just full of like Avon paperwork and stuff and that is uh, samples and things that I've used, but not really doing Avon so much anymore. 
Um, and then this one is just all my little beanie babies and cute little doodads and stuff that I kind of wanted to just put out because they've sat in a box for so long. So that's what they are. And you'll see that there is a shelf space bit missing here. Um, like I was saying, when I was trying to move this unit, I sort of, like I started taking it apart and I got half of it done and then the moving guys came and tried to lift the bit that was still all set up and in the process of lifting it, it all just fell apart and these little like dowels that are in here, they snapped like a ton of these so I had to go and get some more and in the process of snapping them, they also broke one of the shelf dividers too so that's why that is missing. So. Okay, uh, onto the desk. So we have, oh, what have we got in here? We have double-sided tape, various different sizes, little foam squares, um, ink pads, some brads, my new carousel thing that I got set up with scissors and, oops, paintbrushes and all kinds of good stuff, and my acrylic stamp blocks, things are in there too. Uh, these are like the most used Copics that I have. Um, some stamps, some more ink pads, some other little clear stamps, and this one and in the bottom one as well, I have like some teeny tiny uh, stamp sets too. Most used sort of punches, and then my paper trimmers, and my daylight lamp. And that is pretty much the desk. Uh, so over here, this is like where I said I keep all my punches. And then the Copics, these are still in these blue tubs, um, separated kind of by color family. So I, these, that's, it seems to, with me anyway, at least this is like the best way for me to store them. So, so it tends to be easier for me to find them that way. So, uh, so that is that, my printer, magazines, like I said. Um, buttons, wet wipes, and then this is now full, well not completely full, but full-ish. Uh, I decided to put some of my stamps, the ones where I don't have a huge amount of the same brand, but a few. So these are Greeting Farm, these are the Stamp Barn, and uh, this one is just a couple of the wooden ones that I have. And then a couple of these small um, cinnamon stamps. Oop. Then in here we have uh, like CC designs, the different, all the different kind of lines, I guess. And you know, like Sweet November, Swiss Pixies, etc. This is... Oh. Who is this? Crafting Kimmy. Uh, I also have some of her sentiments in there in the bottom too. And then this bottom one is where I have my most recent Amy R, you know, for CC Designs um, sentiments. And then I also have these sentiments from Lily of Valley. So they're in there as well because they fit perfectly in that bottom drawer. So that's that. This uh, Alex unit, um, let's see what we have in here. So, just some spare kind of storage. I have some decoupage papers that I don't really do so much anymore. Some more paper flowers, again, that I don't really use anymore. Um, I may actually do a giveaway of some of these because, you know, they've not been used. Um, they're just kind of sitting there and I don't really think that I may use them. So, um, let me know if you want a giveaway. Uh, this one is just full of the die cutting nestabilities, you know, all the different types. So I have Marianne designs and, and I have also these cuddlebug folders as well. So that's that. Bella loves this drawer. Uh, this is ribbon, just all kinds of ribbon and my bow easy. And most of them I actually got sorted into this plastic box but then all these others are relatively new purchases and they do still need kind of organizing. Guys will you get your nose out? They're so nosy. Uh, so I have ink pads, distress inks, these um, 
shaving brushes. They love the smell of these. I don't know what it is, but... Um, and then also these Majestics stamp sets. So that is that. And then in here, this Dovecraft tool set, which I don't really use. More paper scraps and sticky ribbons and peel-offs. Pretty much all in there. And then this bottom drawer is pretty much just spare double-sided tape, um, heat gun. Guys, we move spare glue dots and empty CD cases. Okie dokie. And then over here, watch out puppies. This is where I have all of my paper now. So I still have the little six by six pads in this basket, but because I have more pads now um, that don't really fit in the basket, I'm gonna need to figure out something about where to put them. And then all the 12 by 12 designer paper is in these and I do still have a few sort of spare but I've split these by kind of color family so that is on that one and here too this is just colored cardstock um, that I need to get a different box for because you know this is just like breaking so that's not great and then these bottom two well two or three boxes um, have just like um you know storage boxes and things for my camera, um, camera bags. Uh, this is a new camera bag that I got, um, which is just great, but I haven't really gone traveling or anything lately, so it's not had much use. And then just my Copic color chart. So uh, I have this lamp here just for, you know, later to, ooh, light things up a little bit so I can see more in this corner. Um, I just have these kiln the jars still as well which I'm trying to figure out. What I would love to do is have them kind of full of you know buttons and flowers and ribbon and whatever but I just don't have that much stash to kind of fill those but I love these kind of jars so they're just sitting there full lonely at the moment. Um, so that is pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye!